Good morning, folks. There are plasma filaments coming in north and south. There are small pops of ejecta that can be found at areas that would normally produce large CMEs. A tiny sun-diving comet is charging at the sun's eastern limb this morning. Updates to come on that one. And the primary rope on our star right now is cresting over the northeastern limb. I'm hoping it releases before getting anywhere near center disk. Let's begin analysis over at spaceweathernews.com and zoom in on that northern incoming filament. We can see a good bit of it has still yet to become visible. That's a long one. If it goes, it will likely be a joint destabilization with the sunspots coming in just out ahead of them, which are growing, but also have their work cut out for them in the Earth-facing solar quiet effect. Looking at those spots, the northern incomers are the only ones worth watching right now. They have size and are morphing a good bit, and in the center of that northern grouping contains the only real Delta-class candidates blue creeping in there. Solar wind continues to calm, leveling off in normal range, and geomagnetic activity is calm as well. Folks, the coronal hole currently on the disk is much smaller and weaker than the previous one, but nevertheless, the earthquake index has to remain elevated due to all the other factors in play like a waning geocentric alignment and the heliospheric disruption from three days ago. The longitudinal waves from that might not produce geomagnetic effects, but the atmospheric and lithospheric disruption should be a no-brainer. So, where are the quakes? Folks, this is where your diligence, close attention, or your website membership comes in handy because you already know that if the atmosphere begins taking the energy disruption first, the volcanoes and earthquakes have to sit back and wait unless they're almost directly beneath those storms. That's what's happening now. The disruption has gone almost 100% into the atmosphere, leaving us quake watchers to sit twiddling our thumbs until it dissipates. And no sign of dissipation yet. Ula and the record-breaking cyclone in the north are still churning along in the Pacific. Northern storm shouldn't even exist right now, and same goes for the extratropical system in the Atlantic, both triggered by the heliospheric disruption. So perhaps our eyes should shift to tomorrow morning through Thursday, it's when those storms should begin to fade, and one of the primary geocentric and heliocentric geometries comes up, it's just four days away. The sun disrupted the heliosphere, and luckily, the energy went to storms that are largely affecting nobody. I hope the eastern United States enjoyed the last warmth of the season, at least the warmth of that degree. Right now, the low-pressure earth spot is still delivering hot air to the east, but you can see what's coming as it will shift to the right. Midwest already feeling the frigid drops in temps that is coming to the eastern part of the country, and the warmth says goodbye with a series of storm and rain events today up the coastline. The Icelandic low has shifted east and will finally spread the wealth of water inland instead of just dumping it all on the northern island nations. Down under, we see the lows straddling the land with a weaker low mass in Western Australia. Rain is sticking to those lows here today. Eyes open. Folks, yesterday's Fly on the Wall podcast covered a lot of Earth and Sun information with only one brief dance into one of our less common topics. This time it was radiation. We also got out a deeper look episode that details the SPF update we described in Fly on the Wall. Folks, spaceweathernews.com slash OTF has all the information for our conference in Phoenix at the end of January, the 30th and 31st. Discounted tickets are still available. Only two of the nearby hotels are full for that weekend. And I believe this is the sweet spot week for airlines before the prices jump in the two weeks before the date. Major announcements about this event coming later today on social media as we take a peek at shots of our star to close. We will also put those updates in the morning news tomorrow. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.